Hi and welcome. I'm Paul and today we are going to talk about matching amplifiers to loudspeakers. And the question comes from Jorge in San Francisco. Hi Paul. I want to ask you about matching speakers with the amplifier. Now I understand that you need an amplifier that's compatible with the ohms of the speakers, right? 8 ohms or 4 ohms. But what about power? If the speaker is rated at 300 watts, do I need an amplifier of 300 watts or less? Those are, that's a really good question. And I get asked that a lot and it's really confusing. And the answer to that um, has to be uh, perhaps not quite so direct, okay? Because we need to back up and understand a little bit about what's, what's going on and what we need to know. So the one missing element in Jorge's uh, quest to find out this thing is a parameter of speakers called efficiency, okay? So some speakers are not very efficient, which means they can't make a lot of noise with the wattage given them. And this is irrespective of whether they're 4 ohms or 8 ohms, okay? So... A highly efficient speaker would need only a few watts to make a lot of noise. And again, 4 ohms or 8 ohms really don't matter. So let's, let's put the ohms uh, away from the, the equation that we're talking about here. And what we need to focus on is efficiency. Now, efficiency is measured as a, a function of wattage and distance. And you'll see this uh, expressed in terms of decibels, and dB. So you might see measured, these are 87 dB efficient, or they're 97 dB efficient, or whatever the number is. And the way this is measured is we take a microphone, we place it one meter away from a loudspeaker, and we put in one watt of power. What we get out of it is the efficiency. So if at, I think we normally do it at about a kilohertz, when we put in one watt of power, our microphone is going to measure a certain sound level. And if that is a low efficiency speaker, it might register 85, 86, or 87 dB. That's not very loud. And that takes one watt to get that. But if it is anything around 90 dB, 89, 90, 91, 92, that's a reasonably efficient loudspeaker. If we see something higher, meaning that for that one watt that we put in, we get louder and louder sounds out. If it was like a 97 dB, 98 dB, like you might find with a horn, um, some of the Wilson speakers I know are very efficient. That means that you don't need many watts to make this speaker perform at its loudest. So part of the question that he asked here is, if a speaker is rated at 300 watts maximum, do I need to match that? And the answer is no, you just need to make sure you don't exceed that so you'll harm the speaker. But what you need to focus on is efficiency. So if you buy a medium efficiency amplifier, let's say it's 90 dB, that means that you can run that thing at an amplifier that's, oh, 50 to 100 watts, no problem whatsoever. You will get very loud sound, as loud as you want to go, without ever exceeding 100 watts, probably not even coming close to that. But if you're down in the 87 dB range, 88, you're going to need hundreds of watts. And if you're up at the 97 dB, 96 dB efficiency, you only need a few watts. That's where you can use these single tube SET amplifiers that put out like 10 watts or 20 watts. It doesn't take a lot to drive a speaker that has high efficiency to a very loud level. So the missing thing here is we need to know what is the speaker's efficiency. If it's a middle to higher efficiency, then you don't need that many watts. If it's below, then you do. So that's what you need to be looking for. But a great question and one that I know a lot of people really don't understand. So hopefully you do now. <laughs> Thanks for asking it. Bye-bye. Thank you.